All right, in this video, we're going to look at solving uh, another uh, differential equation by using integrating factors. So here we've got dy over dx plus 2x over 1 plus x squared times y equals 4 over 1 plus x squared squared. So the first thing we'll do is calculate our integrating factor. So we'll do e to the integral of 2x over 1 plus x squared dx. So kind of off to the side here, I'm going to integrate 2x over 1 plus x squared. And to integrate this, I think we can just do a nice little u substitution. We can let u equal 1 plus x squared. du is going to give us 2x dx. So after we do our u substitution, we're really just integrating 1 over u du. And that's going to give us the natural logarithm of u plus c. So that's going to be the natural logarithm of, we can replace the uh, absolute value with uh, just parentheses, 1 plus x squared is always positive, plus c. Okay, so really when we integrate, we'll get e to the natural logarithm of 1 plus x squared. So again, we're trying to find a particular um, integrating factor. It doesn't have to be the most general. So again, we don't have to worry about the plus c here. All right, so let's see. We've got e to the natural logarithm of 1 plus x squared. Well, that's just going to leave us with 1 plus x squared. So that'll be our integrating factor. So we're going to multiply both sides by 1 plus x squared. So we'll have dy over dx plus 2x over 1 plus x squared times y. We're going to multiply all of that by 1 plus x squared. And we'll do the same thing on the right side as well. So again, the left side we can write as the derivative with respect to x of 1 plus x squared all multiplied by y. On the right side, notice the uh, 1 plus x squared will cancel out with one of the x, 1 plus x squareds in the denominator. So that's going to leave us with 4 times, or excuse me, 4 over the quantity 1 plus x squared. And again, what we're going to do is just integrate simply both sides with respect to x. All right, so again, on the left side, we'll just be left with 1 plus x squared times y. On the right side, well, the antiderivative of, uh, you know, so I've pulled the 4 out. The antiderivative of 1 over 1 plus x squared, that's just going to be arctangent of x. I'm going to add on the plus c. And now we can get y by itself by just dividing. So we could write our solution as 4 arctangent of x plus c, all divided by 1 plus x squared.